Hello friends. In the budget there are four types of deficits. The fiscal deficit, primary deficit, revenue deficit and effective revenue deficit. Fiscal deficit and primary deficits these have been discussed in a separate video. In this session we shall discuss revenue deficit and effective revenue deficit and this discussion will be based on an example. So we are here we have the information taken from India budget 2017-18. This amount is expressed in crores of rupees. We have receipts here. We have expenditure here. So receipts of central government and expenditure of central government. Receipts have been segregated into two parts. Revenue receipts and capital receipts. Similarly, expenditure has been segregated into two parts. The revenue expenditure and the capital expenditure. Revenue expenditure has further been segregated into different categories. So this information will be required to calculate revenue deficit and effective revenue deficit. GDP data, gross domestic product. So that information has also been given here to calculate revenue deficit as percentage of GDP. And this is the formula to be used for calculating revenue deficit. Revenue deficit is equal to revenue expenditure that is this minus revenue receipts that is this. So here we go for our calculation. Revenue deficit is equal to B1 that is revenue expenditure and A1 that is revenue receipt. So here is our calculation. This is revenue expenditure. This is revenue receipt. The gap is of 3,21,163 crore rupees. Similarly, calculation has been made for these two years. Now, how do we calculate the GDP in percent, the revenue deficit in percentage? So, 3,21,163 divided by GDP information. It gives us the revenue deficit as percentage of GDP. So it is 1.9 percent. It was 2.5 percent in the previous year. In the current year it is estimated at 2.1 percent and for next year it is projected at 1.9 percent. Now what is impact of revenue deficit? The first impact is it increases fiscal deficit. Since fiscal deficit takes into account entire expenditure and revenue deficit also takes into consideration only revenue expenditure. If revenue expenditure increases then total expenditure also increases. It leads to increase in fiscal deficit. So this is first impact that it increases fiscal deficit. Funding of fiscal deficit takes place from borrowing the money. Hence funding of revenue deficit also takes place from borrowing. So money is borrowed to fund the interest payments. If we see here entire amount of interest is being funded from borrowing. So amount of interest to be paid by government and amount of borrowing is nearly equal. Now third, 
it increases interest cost when money is borrowed further interest increases further so revenue deficit leads to increase in interest payments by the government and all this leads to what this leads to downgrade of credit rating of the country international credit rating agencies like moody's like standards and poor so they downgrade the country rating and once the country rating is downgraded to get loans from outside the country becomes more expensive both for the government and the corporates closely associated concept with revenue deficit is concept of effective revenue deficit how effective revenue deficit is calculated so this is the same information which we had on the previous page effective revenue deficit is calculated as revenue deficit minus allocation for capital asset creation in the revenue expenditure certain allocations are there which are used to create capital assets so it is the amount line lying here so revenue account revenue expenditure for creating capital assets so out of total revenue deficit if we exclude this amount we get effective revenue deficit so this is revenue deficit out of this if we reduce this amount used for creating capital assets we get effective revenue deficit so effective revenue deficit is also coming down from 1.6% of gdp to 0.9% of gdp to 0.7% of gdp well friends i'm sure the contents of this video will benefit you and thank you for watching this video